Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm here with Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. That's kind of a tongue twister a little bit. Okay. Right? Kind of? Did Close I do it? Right? pretty well. <laughs> you know, okay. I, I got it. it. I got this. And we're with Alan Hess, a concert photographer. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's that's what I do. Amongst many other things. Right. Mainly I'm known for my concert photography and it actually happens to be my passion. And uh, I have a little bit of a switch going on, I'm doing a little bit more pet photography. But, what? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch that. Like... It's the same kind of gear and the same kind of settings too. It's a really weird thing. Oh but, my gosh, really? that's amazing. Right. Well, Chase, you do a lot of concert concert yeah. stuff as well. I came from the music industry. I was doing production and touring, and uh, I just hadn't always had cameras with me. So part of what I, how I got, I got started was just access. Right. You know, if you're the person with the camera and you have behind the scenes access, yeah. you get some really cool oh. shots. We don't like you. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like me because you're out after three songs. Right. You're out of right. the pit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we've got some fighting words. It's okay. Out. It's okay. Well, I well, well, let's talk. I'm gonna kind of turn this to you. This is kind of your your thing. So what what kind of uh, let's let's talk about gear. Let's pull out the geek stuff. Yeah. What is it that you guys usually do with with concerts? Well, I think every uh, concert photographer has kind of their their core kit. Um, it's concert industry is is very fast. Alan will tell you most times you're just getting the you know three songs. Sometimes you just get the first minute of the first three songs. You know sometimes the lighting's not perfect. You have to think very quickly and be able to capture as much as you can. You need your gear to be super reliable. Okay. So, so how much time do you usually, you usually get? I get, um, I, yeah, there's three songs per artist. I actually work for a venue. I'm a house photographer. Oh, so there are times where I nice. get a lot more access and a lot more, um, you know, I, I can go in a different place. I can stay longer. Oh, okay. And the, some of the nice stuff is that I actually work directly for bands. So oh, one nice. of the side jobs is I just like shot Ziggy Marley the other night. And so three mm -hmm. songs, everyone else is out. And then I'm shooting on the stage in the crowd and back in the pit behind sure. him. And it, was, it was like a, a whole different story. Oh, yeah. It has a downside because instead of coming home with like three, four hundred images, I came home with like two thousand images because yeah, right. I shot for an hour and a half. And I'm just, oh my god, that's you know. And then you have to edit. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So what's your core kit? Like, what's your workhorse gear that you use day in day out? You rely on this right here. Right. I yeah, brought. Yeah, it. I it, it, it goes everywhere with me. This is this is actually like. My favorite lens and my favorite camera. Mm -hmm. I've had this one for a couple of years. An Nikon D4 and a 70 to 200 to 8. I'm gonna this is like this is like your even, biceps are right. This is you know people look at me like I, I, I go to boxing and, and people are like how do you hold the gloves up? And I'm like dude, after holding this thing up for a couple hours, you know that's enough. Yeah, um, yeah, it is a beast, but um, it has it has a bunch of advantages over like other stuff I've used. Oh, but yeah. 2.8, everything I have, all my lenses I have are 2.8 or faster because yeah. oh, yeah. low light. And sometimes I get big shows, you know, shot share and tons of light. It's great. But a lot of times I'm shooting in bars of the House of Blues and, you know, there's like four light bulbs and two right. of them are working. And if you're really happy, like, you know, the lighting director will use like three at a time you know, yeah. just for a second. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, so 2.8 so is, is, is really, you know, all my lenses are 2.8. And I'm a, I like to get tight. So I, 70 to 200 is my favorite lens. A 24 to 70 is my secondary lens. And a lot of. A lot of other concept photographers use the 14 and 24 for that wide shot. Yeah. That's not really my style, so I don't use it very often. And when I need it, I get it from the store, or I, or I get a loaner, or you know, I rent it or something like that. Because it's just not worth buying it at this point for the one or two you know events that I use it for. So 90 percent. It was actually funny. I went in the Lightroom and I pulled in all my images from one year, and I started looking at them for the metadata for some books and classes I was teaching. And it turned out that about 90% of my images were taken with this lens. Oh, really? <laughs> at, like, between 105 <laughs> and 200. It was just like, yeah. like this Well, look at this lens. thing. I mean, there's scratch. It's right. been loved. This so thing is So this is actually, loved. this is actually, this version is the previous version. is a newer one out with uh. V2 and the rest of it. But um, it still works. And at this point, you know, I am planning on replacing it at some point. But honestly, for concert work, I don't use the VR because it's not it's not meant for that kind right. of work. Okay. Um, the lens is great; it still holds well. Um, it's it is gaffer taped on because the lens hit doesn't quite hold on anymore. Oh. So I just have a little gaffer tape and it works really but well. You know what? I um, love seeing this. There's a lot of people right. that we've had on the show that you, you know they they always get the they recycle their gear. But that's kind of, I mean, that shows a lot of love there. That's a character. That, it does that character. have a character. I'm, I'm a working photographer. I don't get paid a whole lot because the other side of concert photography is just really not a lucrative business. So I write books and I teach and the rest. Right. So when I buy a piece of gear, I'm really, it's got to last me for, for a sure. very long time. Well, Alan, tell, tell the folks at home where they can find your work. Uh, Alan, your concert and pet work. Well, right, <laughs> right now it's alanhasphotography.com. It is 
my website, and so most of it is all the concert stuff. I do post um, things when I work at like Comic Con or I do some big event, and I you know I'll post stuff about that too. I like gear. I'm, I'm really like I really enjoy like. Yeah. The mechanics behind Chase it. Chase is like, me too. We're going to hang out after this. <laughs> I know, get this girl out here so we can talk geek talk. No, I would definitely encourage you guys at home to check out alanhess.com. Check Alan out his work. Alanhessphotography.com. It's A L A N H E S S. A L A N H E S S. Photography.com. Definitely check out his books. He's a great instructor, educator, um, but an all around cool guy. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel that so. San Diego vibe. Yeah. But also, he talked a lot about the Nikons, the 72 to 200, and Chase mentioned other gear that he uses as well. Definitely check out lensrentals.com if you want to check these out. Anyways, Alan, thank you so much for your time. That was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.